Bridget and Della Cacho, and welcome to Mindful Gardening, in part two of the Potato Diaries, where I plant and hill potato seedlings. After making trenches, dig a generous hole for your potato plant. Add granular bone meal, which provides needed phosphorus and calcium to form healthy tubers. Add water to help dissolve the bone meal and quickly provide moisture to the roots once planted. You'll notice as I loosen the compacted roots that there are already potatoes forming. Place the plant in the hole and cover with soil, including some of its bottom leaves. It's been about 10 days since I planted these potato seedlings and we are ready for a process called hilling. And what hilling does is it helps the plant to produce more tubers and more potatoes underneath the soil line. So what I'm looking for before I hill is to see how tall the plant is. This one, for example, I'm looking at about eight inches which is exactly when you want to start doing this. Anywhere from 8 inches to uh, 12 inches you want to start hilling. So this guy is primely ready. So I'm going to essentially just take the soil and you're covering the leaves and everything. Also working in some organic matter so there's some broken down leaves. Um, little sticks and this soil already had some plant compost in it so there's lots of good things underneath. You want to sort of pat it down too because of course wind and rain will cause erosion. Um, another technique some folks use is they actually put a brick or a piece of wood in between them just to keep the soil from sliding so I'll probably do that as well. What I'm doing is I'm just leaving a few inches above the soil line and I'll be doing this process at least one more time when this again grows another eight inches to, to a foot. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. 